Thanks a lot. I'm very pleased to be here on stage. And I would like to thank, first of all, I'd like to thank Arjen and Capital on stage team. It's great that it's finally the concept of reverse pitching. This brutal concept is here in Copenhagen. Very pleased to see that. Um, first of all, what I would like to talk about uh, is a bit about, we heard this thing about team, team, team. And you hear that as founders, you hear that all the time from VCs. That is what we want, team, team, team. Uh, but we also heard earlier that the vision is very important, but there's still a missing ingredient in this in order to grow a great company. And I think if you look at all the unicorns, basically all great companies that have been ever been built, been generated, uh, they have on top of this also had a very, very strong company culture. And how do you build that? And what kind of culture do you want in your startup? I think that's a very important factor and quite often overseen factor in the startup community. Uh, first of all, you want a performance-based culture in your uh, in team. You need to set out a vision. You need to, and the vision needs to be, we want to be the world's best. If you really want to create something like a unicorn, it has to be that. But if you can do that, and if you can communicate it in a convincing way, you can also attract people, you can attract the senior management, the employees that will follow you and go through fire and water to you. Uh, so let me give you an, uh, an example here. Um, of, uh, of how to build a, a great company culture. Uh, we often think that uh, in the startup world, in the tech sector, that we are very superior to many other industries like the retail industry, the construction industry, etc. We have our fancy marketing analytics tools, etc. Um, but actually this example, that, that has the basis in a very uh, basic industry, a very necessary industry in many, many countries, and that is the liquor business. This is an example that we used uh, when I was the CEO in uh, the technology of the security company Secunia. We used this example and told it to all new employees that we, that we got on board. And the, basically the story, it's, it starts in the little town of uh, Zacapa in Guatemala, where they <clears throat> where there was this uh, 100 year celebration for the company and the people in this city of Zacapa, they got together and they said, we want to make the world's best rum. They set out on this vision, they gathered the team required for it and a few years later they had actually made the world's best rum. Um, they participated in the International Rum Festival, which is a pretty, pretty brutal uh, competition. It's in the Caribbean, so it's, uh, I think the competition there is as, as hard as it is for CRM systems in the US, and they won first prize. They did that actually five years in a row until they were awarded a Hall of Fame award in order to keep them out of competition because other competitors, they didn't really want to, to participate anymore. So what do you do as a company? You reinvent yourself, you make the next ROM, and again, history repeated, they created the world's best ROM. What happened a few years later was that the company, it burned down. All the manufacturing facilities, everything was lost, recipes, etc., etc. And what they did again was get the team together, have the right vision here, have the right company DNA, and build again the world's best ROM. So that's the kind of story that I think is very, very useful also in a startup context in order to attract the right people to your, to your, to your startup and especially the, the right senior management and motivate them, build a performance culture, bonuses on all levels in the company that is, that is very required. So a little bit about Northcap. Um, VC fund based here in Copenhagen. We have four partners in the fund, all with a background from the enterprise software world or the telco world. And that's the reason why we focus on B2B and B2B2C businesses. So that differentiates us a little bit. We don't do pure play consumer games. Uh, and basically the deciding factor is that it has to be a business that is paying the bill. Um, we do uh, investments in, uh, in, in seed stage. We do that in uh, Denmark and Sweden. And we do uh, Series A, we do Series B in our other key markets, which are Germany and, uh, and Finland. And we do investments from uh, half a million euros up to 10 million euros. Um, we actually always try to make the funding rounds large enough for the company to uh, stay on path for the next 18 months. So we think it's much more constructive for, for a startup to go out, chase customer money instead of chasing VC money. Uh, it's, it also generates a lot more value to your, to your startup actually getting, getting the right customer money. In. Um, so that's a little about our, our, our focus. Um, and uh, another thing that we focus a lot on, that is in the internationalization part. 
getting uh, your company out internationally is, uh, is very important to us and that's something we have worked with a number of times uh, also on the operational level. Um, so if you fit the question... Ladies and gentlemen, please give it up! Oh, yeah. <laughs>